You know what it's like, you invite your friends over on a Friday evening for a few beers and to watch a few movies. There's always a bit of an argument about which film you're going to watch. So this will solve the problem with you always winning the bet. You can use strips of paper and write down all the movies that everyone wants to watch. Now for example, I've decided I want to watch this movie, King Kong. <laughs> That's my choice. So you say, let's make it fair. If we lay these out, I'm going to turn around and get you to jumble them all up. And we're going to eliminate films one by one. And the one that's left on the table at the end is the film we shall watch. They'll all agree to it. So you first of all show them the rules of the game. Whether or not you've got cards, coins, or just bits of paper, they do a move. Every time you ask them to make a move, they're to move your chosen film, King Kong, with one of the other ones, swap positions. So if I said make two moves, they could make two moves like this. They could even just do two moves this way. You turn your back and you ask them to mix the cards up into any order on the table. So they can mix them up before you start. At this point, you've got no idea the order of your friend's movies. While your back's turned, you say, I want you to count to my movie, either from the left or the right, and use that number. So they can either count one, two, three to your movie, or one, two, three, four, five. It's up to them. Let's say they went for three. You say, use that number to make three moves. They will do one, two, three. You will then ask them to make two moves. One, two. At this point, you say the movies on the end, we're not going to watch. Get rid of those. You eliminate the two end ones. Now I want you to move three times. They move one, two, three. Once again, you say we're not going to watch the movies at either end. Get rid of those. Now make one move. Now this next part is your choice. You can either remove the film on the left or the right, but whichever one you choose is the one that you'll stick with for the final film. They say the left, you remove the film on the left. You ask them to make one more move, and again remove the film on the left that they chose. And finally, you're left with your chosen movie every time. So the gag you've just seen is just a betting scam where you win every time. All you've got to remember is that you begin with seven items. It doesn't matter whether it's seven playing cards, seven slips of paper, seven bottles of beer. It doesn't really matter. It's just a bit of a fun game you can have with friends and family. One of them is going to be the one that you want. Now, if you're doing, uh, in the past, I've sometimes had uh, six slips of paper on one $20 bill, and whichever one is left on the table is mine, they have the rest you'll always end up with a $20 bill. Do it with drinks as well, or even coins. Here we used movies. Now let's say again, my movie is a King Kong movie. You get them to lay the cards out, or slips of paper, or bottles of beer. They can count from either end. Now if you follow the routine at the start of this video, you do exactly as I did there. You'll always end up with your chosen one. So once you've told them what a move is, swapping them to mix them up, you can carry on. You turn your back or, or go to one end of the room and you ask them to mix them up so you've got no idea what order they're in. They count from either left or right. In this case, they can choose right. They can have three or they can have five. If they choose from the right, that's three, they make three moves like this. You then ask them to make two moves. They do two moves and then you eliminate the end cards. You ask them to make three moves 
and remove the end cards. You then ask them to make one move and then they can choose to either eliminate the left or the right film. Now this is great if there's a, a bunch of you all having a few beers because everyone will be saying, no, get rid of this, get rid of that. It's a fun game. Uh, let's say they choose the one on the right. You'll say you're going to use that for the last one as well. So they get rid of that. Make one more move and then get rid of the one on the right. You'll always end up with your chosen one. It's so simple and obvious, but works very well. And that is a great little betting scam. Practice and enjoy it.